Hey guys, Frightener22 here, and welcome back to day 28 of my 31 Frightening Days of Halloween Marathon. Now after the shit fest that was 1988's Scarecrows last night, I told you that tonight would be a really redeeming and satisfying review, and lo and behold, tonight we're taking a look at 1986's cult classic, Night of the Creeps. Now this is one of my favorite all-time horror movies from the 1980s, and it's really easy to understand why. This film has actually been regarded by, um, you know, horror fans across the board as the number one, um, you know, horror film that has that is just so in need of a legitimate DVD release, and thankfully, this month it finally has been released, as you can see, on DVD and Blu-ray. So, you know, praise all the horror fans. Everybody's soul can kind of go on and live, you know, happily now, knowing that this phenomenal film is finally out on a legitimate DVD. So let's go ahead and get into the review. This film, it was uh, written and directed by Fred Decker, and that name may ring a bell to you guys, because on Saturday I did review his other cult classic film, 1987's The Monster Squad, which is just as equally as kick-ass as Night of the Creeps. This film stars the likes of, of Jason Lively, Steve Marshall, and Jill Whitlow, and the always kick-ass Tom Atkins as Detective Cameron. Now, the plot just is, you know, kind of a mix of sci-fi and horror, so... The nutshell version, it just pretty much deals with um, an experiment from an alien spaceship crash landing onto Earth during 1959 and inhabiting um, a couple. And it isn't until um, moments later, early on in the film, where it jumps from, you know, transitioning from 1959 to present day, that being Pledge Week, um, during, at, during 1986. And we open up on our two main characters of the film, that being J.C. and Chris, played by Steve Marshall and Jason Lively. And these guys are awesome. I mean, they, they play these... Um, you know, these outcasts that are freshmen, and they're nerds, and they don't have girlfriends, so they really just have, you know, themselves, really. So, it isn't until that they're, um, Jason Lively's character, Chris, is kind of blown back by the image and the sight of Jill Whitlow's character, character Cynthia Cronenberg. So, him and his best friend, J.C., go out of their way to do anything to impress Jill in order to gain her affection. So, they figure the only way to get into her heart for Chris, Jason Lively's character, to mainly get into her heart, is to join a frat. So, in doing so, um, they're actually put up to the test to, you know, try and some stupid fr um, fraternity prank. So they end up going in to the morgue of the university, and they come across a cryogenics lab. Inside the cryogenics lab is actually the victim from 1959 that first discovered the alien experiment that had crash-landed on Earth. So he's been suspended in a cryogenic state, and it isn't until some messing around that Chris and JC actually unleash that cryogenic body. So he emerges... And in a zombie-esque state, he begins um, spreading the the alien experiment, which turns out to be slugs that are that actually jump from um, into the mouths of humans and pretty much manifest inside the brains, um, you know, hatching eggs and just pretty much turning them into you know the Walking Dead zombies more or less. So it's pretty much up to the um, our detective Tom Atkins along with. Um, Jason Lively's character, and of course the beautiful Jill Whitlow to put an end to the slugs and, you know, the ongoing um, threat of zombies infesting the world. So that's pretty much the best description I can give for this film. This film is just so, so much fun, guys. If you guys have never seen this film, I don't know what you're waiting for. This is just the film among films to check out, and if you guys haven't seen it, I guess it's probably easy to understand why, because as I had said, it had never seen a legitimate DVD release until this past October, so um, this may be, you know, everybody's first time to actually take a crack at it. Before then, I mean, you know, this was probably one of the most bootlegged movies out, uh, you know, throughout the horror movie convention circuit. I mean, I'm sure everybody that, you know, is a horror movie fan probably owned this film on a boot like DVD or, you know, managed to snag an old VHS copy of it. But this just film just garnered so much praise and, you know, just admiration for it over the years that just people just kept getting struck by the creeps bug and just kept discovering how special and fucking awesome this film is. So it really, really is something special to see it get released on DVD in its 
unrated director's cut, as well as a Blu-ray release. I mean, I can, you know, think back to only a year ago, and the thought of Night of the Creeps ever being released on the DVD just seems so, you know, unthinkable. But to, th to, you know, to be here now to actually know that we have, you know, a definitive unrated director's cut and a Blu-ray is just, you know, it's almost surreal to think that. This film is just, you know, it's just so cool. I mean, if you guys have seen The Monster Squad and really understand and dig Fred Decker's style, you need to dig this film up and, you know, just see it because it is just amazing. I mean, Fred Decker just did a magnificent job in this film. I mean, you know, he really fleshed out and created a really solid, simple, fun story and just really implemented some really kick-ass characters with some, you know, you know, accompanied with some really badass one-liners. I mean, everybody in this, in the cast, is just terrifically spot. I mean, everybody plays their roles just really magnificently. As I said, Tom Atkins kicks ass in absolutely everything he does. Many of you guys may remember him from 1987's Lethal Weapon, um, in addition to starring in Creep Show, as well as most recently starring in the My Bloody Valentine remake in 3D. And he is just absolutely awesome. If, if you guys can tell, this is actually um, Tom Atkins from the movie saying probably one of his most uh, popular lines, Thrill Me, and this shirt can actually be purchased from FrightRags.com. But, I mean, that just goes to show, you know, my, you know, deep-rooted love for Night of the Creeps. This movie is just so phenomenal. It's just so much fun. I can't, you know, say it enough and get this through every horror fan's skull. If you guys have never heard of this movie or ever seen it. This is like the best kept secret in, you know, horror movie circles. It's just, you know, thinking about it, this is just, you know, a cult classic in the truest sense. This was just a film that debuted in 1986 and really did, you know, pretty poorly at the box office, more or less, but it was just so ahead of its time, and that's just, you know, really just goes to show, you know, the true power of a cult classic, just year after year after year, the power and just, you know, the fun of this film just continued to catch on amongst the fan base, and it's just so great. I mean, Fred Decker, he is the man. It's just un- believable to think that this guy has not gotten more work after the films that he, you know, the three films that he's made throughout his entire career. Hollywood, wake up. You need to give Fred Decker more work because this guy is a fucking genius. And Night of the Creeps and The Monster Squad are, you know, his best gems um, to his name. I mean, you cannot go wrong with either of these films. So, um, to switch shifts and really talk about, um, you know, the unbelievable DVD release of this. For fans of this movie, you guys, if you haven't already, you guys need to just get out to your stores, get online, and order this thing, because it is awesome. This is the end-all, be-all, a definitive version of Night of the Creeps. You have everything. You have cast interviews. You have commentaries by Fred Decker, commentaries from the cast. You have an entire feature at highlighting the badassness of Tom Atkins. Just everybody is back on this. You have free, you have new interviews with Jason Lively, Atkins, Steve Marshall, Jill Whitlow, and Fred Decker. Just everything on this is unbelievable. This is, you know, the DVD release that we have all been waiting for. And horror fans united will not be disappointed. So, if I have not rambled on enough about how incredibly fucking awesome this film is... I mean, I just don't know what else to say. You guys just need to get out and see this film. You guys owe it to yourself for Halloween season. Absolutely, just get out there and check this out because you will not regret it. So everybody, just do yourselves a favor and thrill me and treat yourselves to Night of the Creeps. You will not be disappointed. As always, guys, thanks again for tuning in to my 31 Frightening Days of Halloween Marathon, and I will see you again tomorrow with yet another review. So with only three days left in the month, guys, can you even imagine how much more fun the last three days could possibly get? Stick around as the final three days come are coming at you this following week. Thanks again, guys. This is Frightener22.